Hi Chris, Phil Beaver here at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on what we worked on today. So the swing here on the left is your uh, first swing of the day after a warm-up. So you can see here as you're taking the club away a little bit too on the inside. I've left that alone today because I thought we had other bits to work on. But in an ideal world at this frame here, Chris, I'd like to see the club hinging at worst through your right, uh, right forearm, but at best through your right shoulder. But that's something we can tidy up another day. Top of the swing's beautiful. Left arm's really good. Left wrist is good. Club pace there is at 45 degrees, matching the shaft angle, right elbow pointing to the ground. So all tickety-boo, really, really good. Get to the top. As we start to unwind, this is just where things start to go a little wrong in my eyes. So from here now, as you've started to come down, the chest has stopped rotating and the hips aren't rotating. So with the golf swing, you have to create room. And most people create room by rotating their hips and left shoulder left. But with you, because you're not turning them, you're going to have to create room. And you're going to create room by moving forwards with the body and standing up. So we can see as you come into impact now how straight you look. Legs, no clearance. Spine angle now is, is bent. Uh, and we can see the hips are almost pointing still at the golf ball. So from there, what's going to happen now is the right hand's going to work very hard. And we can see it there. It's bowing there just over. So it means you're rotating that right hand hard. Uh, we can see that by the club cutting out way too high up here through the shoulder. In the ideal world, the club would be cutting out probably mid through your midriff. So if we just run back there to impact, the quick way of me fixing that was to put the, shaft, the stick in the shaft. I know you don't like this, but first things first, the set was slightly better. We can see there it does go inside, but it sets through the right forearm. Not that we worked on that, but you'll see coming into impact now. I mean, we've got some clearance going on there really good but look at the difference there impact that spine is still perfectly straight leg legs are still in flexion which i like and there's a little bit of left leg showing where this swing here on the left we're almost the whole body is just almost standing straight up on a big flick so that stick really does help you stay in posture there and from there you just got to accelerate that chest now this was a good swing but you said the thing hit you so we can see you almost get all the way to here we can see that. So look, if I go back there, sorry. So you've got all the way to there and the thing hasn't hit you. I'm going to move these lines. We can see the pole just coming out there. But then the body stops and then it clips you. And that's why it's hurting. But you've done a fantastic job to get through impact and that thing not hit you. I just want you to keep turning and accelerating. Now you had some problems with the left knee. Um, but that was a, that really did make a terrific job and fix it. So for you, you've got to work hard to put that rod down the shaft. That's going to help you stay in posture. Really, I want you to turn hard left with the chest, really passive with the hands. So I really want you to feel that you're starting the ball left uh, and just fading the ball back slightly. So work on that for me. In the last little bit, don't be frightened to hit down. Really feel like you're going to stick the club in the ground uh, and get some turf. That's going to really keep that club face square. Any problems, give us an email or ring. Uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, Chris, and Happy New Year.